How to create a free Minecraft server using Aternos in 2022. Let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is just go onto your search engine, whether it's Google or Microsoft Edge or whatever. Just search up Aternos. Dot org. This will also be in the description, of course. Now, what you're going to want to do is create your account. So just hit play on the bottom right corner. And then you should see a page like this. It says, welcome to Aternos. Now, all you got to do is just hit sign up. Enter a username. I'm just going to enter Hurley2022. And you got to find a username that has not been taken before. And then you just got to hit both of these, which means that you're just agreeing to the terms of service. Now, you want to hit next. Do your password and your email. Um, the email is optional. So if you don't even have an email, then you don't have to do it. So let me just create a safe password real fast. All right, now hit sign up. Boom. As soon as you do that, you will notice that it says servers. Now you are actually in Atronos now. So all you got to do is just create your server. This is the easy part. So just hit create server. So this is what you're going to use to log into your Minecraft server, but it's not active yet. So to change the IP, you just hit this little pencil right there and then edit it. You can only edit the beginning of it. You can't edit the ending. So .atronos.me just because you're using a free Minecraft hosting website. So of course it's it's going to have a, a little advertisement, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's just randomly spam letters for our IP. And as you can see, it worked. So that is our IP to our server. And you can also change the description to your server. So this is what's going to pop up when you join a Minecraft server. Make sure to sub. Boom. Easy. Now, all you got to do is create. So you can either create your server for Java Edition or Bedrock Edition. Now, I own Java, so of course I'm going to hit Java. But if you own Bedrock, then you hit Bedrock, of course. It's pretty simple. So just hit create. All right, so now you're in the control panel of your server. So what you're going to want to do first is go into software. And this is what you're actually going to install on your server to get it working. So you can install vanilla, paper, forge, snapshot, spigot, fabric, mod packs, glowstone. Basically everything is what I'm trying to say. So if you want to install plugins onto your server, then I recommend using spigot. But if you have other ideas, like you want to use forge or whatever, go ahead. I, I'm, I'm not like telling you what to do. But just for this example, I'm going to be using spigot because again, that's what you use to install plugins on your server. And then find the version that you would like to install. So of course, you are most likely going to want to do the newest version of Minecraft. Click install. It might take just a second and then a check mark will pop up as soon as it's done. Now, you will notice that a plugins tab is now available. That is because you just installed Spigot onto your server. So if you go to files, then you can see that you have also a plugins folder, but the plugins folder is empty. So, so how you would actually install a plugin is you click the plugins tab right here. You find the plugin that you want to use. You can also search it up right here, click on the plugin, and then you just click the latest version right here. And boom, it's installed just like that. That's literally how easy this website is. Now, how you actually make sure that it installed successfully is you click files, go to plugins, and essentials is right there. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is start up your server. It's very easy. All you gotta do is click on server right here and then click start. And it's gonna ask if you want to accept the E U L A, just click yes, I accept. And boom, just like that, your server is starting up. Now this may take a little bit depending on how many people are starting up their server along with you. But while we wait for that, I'm just gonna show you how to do some other things. So if you head to worlds, you can actually install specific worlds onto your server by just clicking upload. Of course, when the server is offline, but say you wanted to like install a map onto your server, you just download the map, click upload, and then select the folder. It's very easy. And you can also back up your server, which is super dope. By the way, you won't be able to really do anything to your server when it's starting. It normally has to be offline when you're doing anything. But you also have this tab called access. Now this is so you can let other people access your server panel, which is so freaking cool in my opinion. And you also got options, which is pretty self-explanatory. You can change the settings on your server. So you can change it if you want nether enabled, monsters enabled, commands enabled, fly enabled, cracked, PVP. It's all so freaking cool. I've used this server host for a long time, especially if you're on a budget, it's very nice to use. But one thing to note is Atronos is not open 24 seven. Every single time you wanna play on your server, you have to start it up. Of course, it won't take as long as the first time that you load it up, but it'll take like two minutes. 
Now, if you want to check how your server is doing while it's loading up or whatever, you just want to go to console and as you can see, your server is being made. You can see that everything is being created and if you ever have a problem, this is where you want to go. You want to hit console and then you should be able to find the problem through here, like what went wrong basically. And now all you got to do is just wait for your server to be done. Epic transition in three, two, one, zero. And boom, just like that, 10 minutes or so later, the server is loaded up. So now all you gotta do is load up your Minecraft. And as you can see here, this is the time until your server is offline again. So you gotta join your server as fast as possible. So I'm just gonna load up Lunar Client and join my server before the time runs out. So I'll be right back once I'm on Minecraft. So Minecraft is now done. And you're probably wondering, Hurley, how do I actually connect to my server? What you gotta do is just hit multiplayer, click add server, name your server so let's just do this is a test and then the server address which is the address that you made earlier so it should just be right on your atronos page mine is this so just copy and paste it in like so once you do that hit done and boom just like that you have your very own minecraft server and as you can see, it's literally just a Minecraft server. It, it just seems like a normal world. And you won't be able to do slash game mode creative at first. And that is because you don't have op on your server. So how you give yourself op is go back into your server panel, click console, and then do op, and then your name. Just like that, we now have control over our entire Minecraft server. So we can do slash game mode creative. And boom, it's that easy. Now, earlier I showed you guys how to install a plugin. How you actually check if that plugin was successful is you do slash plugins. And yup, it worked. And as you can see, it's like really smooth. Like it's not laggy at all. It's like actually playable. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. And I will see you guys later. Peace.